Good morning, everybody. I wanted to just come on here for another episode of our morning motivation. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I recently woke up. I um, <laughs> woke up and it was so dark in my room. I thought it was like still six a.m. And I looked at my I looked at my phone, and it was almost nine o'clock. And I was like, Oh my gosh! Did I, <laughs> I I must have been really tired last night when I went to bed. That's all I can say. But anyway, I hope you are having a wonderful morning. I hope you are doing well. And so before I start my day, before we all start our day, we just want to take a moment to um, get our hearts full and get our hearts prepared and just go at it with a full heart and uh, with all the motivation that we possibly can, looking towards God, towards the Holy One always. Um, our key scripture for the day, I'll go ahead and read that, is coming from Psalm 43, and Psalm 43 is so short, it's only five verses, so I'm just going to read the whole thing, and then we'll discuss it. Um, Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an un ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I into mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and, it, and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God with my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God, why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Um, that is coming from the King James Version, and what is it, what it is essentially talking about is being downcast and why are we downcast the lord as it says in that last verse is our health to our countenance um and if we start focusing on everything around us if we start focusing on the world around us it, it it's going to get um really depressing really quickly if we pay attention to the news, you know, my granddad always used to sit in front of, a, of my dad's side. He always used to sit in front of a television. And one of the things that I liked to do was going to sit with him. And, you know, it didn't take granddad long for him to completely lose his peace with the, everything that was going on in, in the world when it came to the news. Um, or me either back in those days. Now... There is a lot of things going on in this world. We got a lot of things going on in this world. We got a lot of things going on in our nation, in our neighborhoods. And if you start taking a look at um, elements in your life or in, 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 in just the natural world, uh, what do I mean by the natural world? Just anything around you um, that's going on, those things can seem very depressing and it can cause your soul to be downcast there's a multitude of reasons and things there's a multitude of times in my life and i'm sure you can identify a lot in yours where you have felt depression in fact i would say that the majority of when i was at <coughs> sorry the majority of when i was at texarkana college and even before that, like some of my um, high school years, I was, uh, I had a lot of depression. When I was at SAU, there were many days, many days in which I was depressed. In fact, in fact, uh, I had become so depressed at SAU that um, 
one of my very good friends uh, took me aside one day and she said that she thought I would benefit from doing so, having some counseling uh, from one of the one of the school's uh, psychiatrists, and I said, um, "Well, I said I've never thought about that as a possibility before, but I'm willing to try it." So I did. I went to counseling for my depression. And uh, that helped me a lot. That helped me make it through college because before that, I I was basically at a point where I was I had given up, um, uh, just because of various things, relationships gone wrong, um, not being able to find somebody to be in a relationship with was another big one, um, because that was before I met Katrin. Um, you know, there was just a multitude of reasons that I can go back and point to that contributed to my depression. My grades, wondering if I was going to pass college, wondering how I was going to pay my debt, and just the weight of all that stress really cast my spirit down. But who is our ultimate strength? Who is the one that gives us the strength to continue to stand? Who is the one that lets us, uh, that continuously pours out his grace and mercy and peace to us so that we can stand in that? The Holy One. Every time the answer will be the Holy One. And so, and so the Lord is our health and our countenance and our strength in times when we are feeling down. And here's what you do if you're feeling down. If you're feeling down, the best medicine and the best thing that you can do is to go and pray. Talk to God. Listen for him to answer you, because the Lord will do that. Pray. Spend time with the Lord. Going to church is good. Very good. Listening to sermons is very good. Talking with friends about your situation is also good. But talking to the Lord is ultimately where the healing begins to happen. Because when you're talking to the Lord and you're standing in his presence, there's a total transformation process that takes place. The entire atmosphere changes when you're standing in the presence of the Lord, praying to him. And so pray. Don't let yourself be downcast. If you're feeling downcast today, pray. And look towards God. He will direct your paths, and he will give you, give you peace, and he will give you healing today. The Lord is good. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on those around you. That is your challenge for today. If you're feeling downcast today at all, pray. And it will work itself out. The Lord works everything out for his good. Remember that. It's true. The Lord works everything out for his good. No matter how bleak things look, the Lord works everything out for his good. And he's still in control. He's still in control. He's in control of our nation. He's in control of the world. He's in control of our governments. He's in control of everything. So whatever you're seeing on the news, whatever you're seeing out there in the world that's happening around the world, ultimately, we know who's in control. God. And that's all we need to know. We are safe in the Lord's hands. Remember that. And the Lord will give you peace. And may the Lord give you peace. May, his, may he make his face shine upon you forever. Amen.
Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.